Whether you're looking for answers to specific life questions or simply hoping to become the best version of you possible, welcome to the Mental Breakdown and Psych Reg podcast, where we offer insight, information, and strategies based upon research and years of practice as psychologists. So sit back, have a listen, and get connected with our hosts, Dr. Bernie Wilkinson and Dr. Richard Marshall. Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about pop culture online tests. I just can't contain myself. (laughs) Yeah. I know this is going to be an interesting conversation because there are a ton of these things out there. Even I was surprised. Yeah. And I taught personality assessment Mm -hmm. at the university. And we would, I would have the students take these online tests and everything. Mm-hmm. I had no idea there were this many. I mean, it's just pages and pages and mm-hmm. pages and multiple tests on each site. Yeah. You know, uh, there must be, I don't know, at l- certainly hundreds and maybe thousands right. of online assessments. Right. Now, think about that for a minute. They can't all be right. Right. right? And, and so, you know, and sometimes they're fun. Sometimes they're, 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 they're interesting, you know, what, what, um, which, you know, Hogwarts house would you, <laughs> right, would you right. be sorted into and, mm-hmm. you know, and, and those kind of things. But, you know, I, I think that th- there's a few things that we have to address because, you know, I have certainly had people come into the office, you know, and they will say that they have this personality or they have this thing or they have this IQ mm-hmm. or this, and w- as you get into it, you find out that. It was from an online, you know, something, a click, a, you know, a link that they clicked on in Facebook. Mm-hmm. And they're putting a lot of, you know, a lot of emphasis, a lot of, um, you know, um, power into this thing. Um, mm-hmm. And probably more so than they should. Right. And I think that, in fairness, we can probably divide these into a couple of different categories. Right. Um, there are some university uh, mm-hmm. websites right. that are meant for students. Mm-hmm. And the students... If they, if they don't want to come in for counseling, they can at least go online and take some of the tests that mm-hmm. the university has made available so that they can at least get some right. idea of whether they really should come in for right. a visit or if everything is okay. So there are some websites that are pretty carefully designed. Mm-hmm. I think the university websites are probably pretty good. There are some others, um, National Institutes of Health, mm-hmm. uh, anything that ends in .org yeah, might usually. be okay. Mm-hmm. There's another whole set that are clearly commercial and almost fun to take. I mean, they're they're really meant to be entertaining, right? Okay, um, and and I put all the other tests into that category. Some might be they might be reliable, but they're mm. not intended to be reliable. They're meant to be right entertaining, <clears throat> right? And you can find online kind of go, you know building on the first group that you were talking mm. about. You can find online many authentic psychological tests that have right. been validated and have been, you know, right. are, are well, are mm-hmm. very sound. You can find them online right. uh, because they are sort of open source. Um, you know, right. one, for example, is uh, the Vanderbilt, which mm-hmm. is a, a, an ADHD um, rating scale. Rating scale. Right. Um, and you can find that online. It's mm-hmm. very commonly used by right. psychiatrists and psychologists and, you know, you can, right. you can find the, the, the a PDF of it online and how to score it and everything. Mm-hmm. Um, but, but yeah, the, the other group of tests, um, sort of sometimes give the appearance of, mm-hmm. of quality, the right. appearance of validity, mm-hmm. but they're not. Right. Um, you know, anytime, you know, a friend posts something on Facebook that says, my IQ was 146, what's right. yours? And right. you, it's asking you to click something so that you mm-hmm. go, those, those aren't, um, those aren't well-established tests. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And for some of you, I know this sounds obvious, but, um, but I think a lot of people fall into that, that sort of little snare of, right. um, you know, hey, this is. This is what it says. You know, mm-hmm. it looks like it's from someplace that's reputable. And yeah, my students would laugh because they would. I would have them take an online test, and they would come in and report the results. And they would say, "What animal are you? Mm-hmm. Or what mm-hmm. food item are you? Or there's all these things that mm-hmm. are out there today." And um, I, I think that I think that you know we have these two broad categories of these are probably legitimate mm-hmm. tests. 
and these are just fun tests. They're not mm -hmm. meant to be mm -hmm. any, and there's no obligation for them to be reliable right. or valid. Right. The, the, the test developers are doing them mainly for entertainment, to have fun and sort of. But then there's a there's a middle group where there, and I noticed this when we were doing the research for this one, that there are um, psychologists and groups of psychologists who um, have uh, put tests on their website mm -hmm. that uh, prospective patients mm -hmm. could take right. to say, well, yeah, if you think you have depression, take this test right. and it will tell you whether, whether you do it. It won't, it won't make a diagnosis, mm -hmm. but it'll say, yeah, you do have some of the characteristics of mm -hmm. depression. Mm -hmm. it, doesn't, it doesn't mean you have depression. It means you have some of the characteristics. And then you can call the office and say, hey, I took your online test, mm -hmm. and it looks like I have depression. I need to make an appointment. Right. Okay. So there is this third group of tests, right. I think, that are meant not to be diagnostic. They're meant to be, they're, they're meant to answer some of your preliminary questions. Right, right, right. So when, um, you know, so one of the, when you look at these tests, when you, when you see these online IQ tests mm -hmm. or online personality tests, the main thing that you want to think about is, and we've thrown these words out already today, validity, validity mm -hmm. and reliability. Right. The, the thing with tests and, and something that makes tests very, something that makes tests more powerful, mm -hmm. more meaningful, more, um, more informative right. is the reliability and validity. You know, whenever you're going to take a test um, at a psychologist's office, mm -hmm. like a, you know, a real, whether it's the MMPI or the Wexler scales or right. anything like yeah. that, those tests have been used with thousands and thousands of people under mm -hmm. well-controlled, well-managed right. um, well mm -hmm. conditions so that we know that People who you know who earn this score or have this profile, right. um, you know, it is meaningful because you know you can compare right. different people and again lots and lots of thousands mm -hmm. of people will take these tests. When you do these some of these online that third category that for fun right. uh, category, those tests aren't validated. They're mm -hmm. they're not reliable, mm -hmm. and, and so we there's no real indication. Validity means that it that it actually measures what it says mm -hmm. it measures right. so you know if it's a personality test you know <laughs> does it really test personality well validity is a really difficult thing to evaluate for right. a test I mean it, right. it takes a lot of time it takes thousands of controlled participants and you know it, it's really difficult to figure out mm -hmm. so when it tells you uh, well you have this personality style um, you know, I mean, it might compare you to a character from, you know, Lord of the Rings, but, and you may have some traits similar to that character, but it doesn't necessarily mean anything in the real world. That's right, because people who, people who scored the way you did, mm -hmm. you know, they, I mean, there are, if a thousand people take a test, uh, they fall into groups, you right. know, a hundred people look like this, mm -hmm. and 300 people look like this, and 200 people look like this. And so you can group people according to their response. Right. And the people who, who scored this the way you did, this is what their occupations mm -hmm. are. This is what they do for hobbies. This is so right. So you begin to look like other people who mm -hmm. score the same as you. Right. And it's but it's not diagnostic. Right. 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 So you have to be really careful when you're when you're taking some of these tests. It doesn't um, you know, we, we talked yesterday about the difference between testing and assessment. Right. And, and this certainly is where These that assessment piece right. comes in mm -hmm. because you, you really have to have somebody that can get in there and look at it and right. figure out what it means and how it relates to your right. real life. Yeah, uh, you mentioned IQ tests. You can go online and take an IQ test mm -hmm. and let's say the score is 130. That would be important. Mm -hmm. So then you may want to go to a psychologist and say, hey, this is what this test mm -hmm. showed. I'd like to have my IQ evaluated mm -hmm. more thoroughly. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you might get 130 on that test too. Okay. That's good. But don't trust the online tests because mm -hmm. they're not meant to be reliable. Right. They're not meant to be accurate. They're right. not meant to be diagnostic. Yeah. And I, I think that the scariest thing that I've heard about that happens is somebody will take a test and that test will say, you know, people who score like that tend to work mm -hmm. in this occupation or tend to right. do this kind of thing in life. And so then they, they quit their job and they go to try to pursue something else. And 
then of course they realized that, oh, you know, this is horrible. I hate this. And so they threw away something that they they had Mm -hmm. and made some decisions based upon this online test Mm -hmm. that probably wasn't very valid, probably was just more for entertainment. Um, And so they really are. Yeah. So you have to be careful. And the other thing you'll notice is that when you take those tests, they want you to keep going. Right. But each time you go, then there's a there's a charge mm-hmm. attached to it. So you yeah. can start out free, right. but if you want to finish, it's like that online dating, mm-hmm. um, oh, yeah. match.com or yeah. something. And the farther you go, you know, if you really want mm-hmm. the real answer, you're going to have to yeah. pay more money for it. Mm-hmm. So be careful. Don't get ensnared in these things. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They're not meant to be diagnostic. Nobody's, I mean, they're really not doing anything wrong. I don't think they're misrepresenting themselves. Right. But the tests are not meant to be. Um, they're not meant to be diagnostic. Exactly. So. Exactly. So. All right. Well, that is it for today. And <laughs> funny. Uh, what color are you? Yeah. There's yeah. colors. You know. There, are you like a red or a rainbow, blue yeah. or a green or? Yeah. So. All right. Until next time. Stay happy. Stay healthy. And forget to be afraid. Thanks for sharing this episode of the Mental Breakdown and Psych Ridge podcast. Be sure to check out the show notes for links to follow us on Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel where you will find all of our previous podcasts and much more. We would be honored if you would become a patron through patreon.com where any donation you can manage will go to the development and creation of more content. Just visit patreon.com slash the mental breakdown for more information. Thanks again for listening. Have an awesome day and we look forward to being back in your feed tomorrow morning.